Working within the wind industry, I'm often asked, how much power do those wind turbines really produce? Well, the quick answer would be to say a wind turbine can produce many megawatts of electricity. But without any context of megawatts, this answer is confusing. If you're like me, even grasping the concept of how much electrical power is used in our everyday lives isn't exactly easy. In fact, the overwhelming majority of all people are completely in the dark on this matter. This infographic is meant to relate the electrical power we use in our everyday lives to a typical utility-scale wind turbine. In other words, what's watt in wind? Now the first concept to grasp is watt versus watt hours. A watt is the rate of electricity used by a device at a single moment. The watt hours is the total energy used over a period of time. If it's convenient, now would be a good time to locate your power bill for an example of this next step. You see, the way the power company measures and calculates your bill every month is done with what's called kilowatt hours. So what we need to figure out now is how watts and watt hours relate to kilowatt hours. Here's the easy math on that. Remember, the watt hour is the wattage of a device multiplied by the hours it is used. Now, dividing that number by a thousand will change the watt hours to kilowatt hours. The reason we do this is to reduce the number of digits for ease of use. For example, 15,000 watt hours is exactly the same as 15 kilowatt hours, but this number is smaller and more practical to compute and communicate with. Now let's see a real-world example of this. Let's say you go out and buy a 300-watt big-screen LCD TV. You love that TV and watch it for three hours every day for that first month. That's 300 watts multiplied by three hours and multiplied again by 30 days in a month. That's 27,000 watt hours. Now that's a pretty big number, so let's divide that by 1,000 now we have our kilowatt hours for the month, 27 kilowatt hours. So now you can see how time of use is a key factor in these equations. Here are some examples of common devices around the home and what their base wattage is. A CFL light bulb, for example, is around 25 watts, depending on what you buy. The biggest power hog of them all in your home is most likely your clothes dryer. This one is 4,000 watts. A fun exercise you might do is to find the wattage of the devices in your home. Remember, these numbers haven't taken into account the time of use yet, and unfortunately, your power company does not itemize your bill to show the use amount for each appliance. So use the previous example of the TV to estimate the power consumption of the individual devices in your home. Now if you've got it, look back again at your monthly power bill it should list your total power consumption for the entire month. And how is that listed? That's right, kilowatt hours. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, the monthly average consumption of energy per home in 2010 was 958 kilowatt hours. That's the same as 53 25-watt light bulbs turned on for 24 hours a day for an entire month or that 4,000 watt clothes dryer running for almost 10 straight days. Now your home might consume more or less, but we're going to use this average of 958 kilowatt hours for our next example. Let's try now to answer our original question. How much power do those wind turbines really produce? We'll even be very conservative and say that the wind turbine we're using for comparison is only operational for 25% of one month. Because as we all know, the wind isn't always blowing. So here's the full question. How many 958 kilowatt hour houses will a 1.5 megawatt wind turbine power in the span of a month running only at 25% of the time? Let's go through the easy math on this and find out. A 1.5 megawatt wind turbine multiplied by 24 hours in a day multiplied again by 30 days in a month, and then we multiply that number by 25%. That's 270 megawatt hours. 
So now that we have this number, how do we compare it to our 958 megawatt hour home? We'll have to convert our megawatt hours to kilowatt hours, just like the house, so we can then compute. This time, we have to multiply by a thousand to accomplish this conversion. That equals 270,000 kilowatt hours. The last step is to divide that number by 958. If you're following along with your calculator, just round to the nearest single digit. The answer is 281 average homes are powered by a 1.5 megawatt wind turbine in a month, only running for 25% of the time. Thank you for listening.